Teenager is hit by a car while walking home from school. It happened yesterday afternoon. The teen was thrown nearly 80 feet when a Dodge Durango just slammed into another car at the intersection of 10th Street and Beard. You can see neighbors rushing in to help, but the driver of the Durango quickly leaves the scene. The 16-year-old Port Huron High School student is now at Children's Hospital listed in critical condition. Witnesses couldn't believe the driver just took off after hitting the boy. How does a person do that to another person and leave? I don't care if what was going on in his life. I, I, I don't understand it. Police later found the SUV and arrested the man hours later. He has not yet been charged. Governor Whitmer is seeking changes in the state's work requirements for Medicaid recipients. The new law that goes into effect in 2020 requires able-bodied Medicaid recipients to work an average of 20 hours a week. Governor Whitmer indicates that 183,000 people in Michigan could lose health coverage if that law goes into effect. She says she plans to work with the Republican-led legislature to make changes. We expect we'll hear more on that next week in her State of the State address scheduled for Tuesday night. An unforgettable prom experience for people with special needs as the fifth annual Night to Shine event took place at the LifeBridge Church in Taylor and for that matter, all over the world. Attendees for the event received the red carpet treatment as the celebration featured photographers and an award ceremony. We had 123 kings and queens that were registered and then with our walk-ins, I bet we had over 130 people here. So we had a full house. They sure did. The event is sponsored by the Tim Tebow Foundation and is hosted in all 50 states and 20 countries worldwide. To give those with special needs a night, they'll never forget. I watched the video all night. That's great. Rodents and fleas taking over City Hall in the second largest city in the country.